Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Master of Computer Science Subjects. I am Vimla Devi. Today I am going to explain or uh, going to give a deep introduction about a three address code. In three address code, it's one of the intermediate representation. In three address code, there is at most one operator on the right hand side of the instruction. So for example, you consider this expression x plus y into z can be written like this. In this expression, first the multiplication operation has to take place, then that must be added with x, right? So we can write like this, t1 is equal to y into z, then t2 is equal to x plus t1. This is the best example for three address code. At every instruction, there are at the most three addresses and one operator on the right hand side. Okay, where this T1 and T2 are the temporarily compiler generated names at that moment. Later, these names might be eliminated at the phase of code optimization. Three address code, in fact, is built from two concepts. One concept is address. The other concept is instruction. What is an address? An address can be a name in your instruction. It can be a constant or it can be a compiler generated temporary name such as T1, T2, etc, Tn. Okay. So now in general, I'm going to introduce some common three address instructions. In most of the programming languages, we have assignment instruction, copy instruction, unconditional jump, conditional jump, etc. So for every type of programming language statement, how to write the equivalent three address code? That is what we are going to see. Suppose in your program, there are assignment instruction. The equivalent three address code looks like this. X is equal to Y operator Z. This is the format in three address code or else if the operator is unary operator, we can write like this X is equal to operator Y. So whatever is there on the left hand side is nothing but programming language statements. Whatever I'm writing on the right hand side is nothing but the equivalent three address code. Okay, how do we write the copy instructions in high level programming uh, languages in the programs? There will be the copy instructions. How do we write that? Very simple. X is equal to Y. Using this assignment operator, we can say that the copy of Y is available in X also. Okay, now let us move on to the unconditional jump. Jump means what? From some line of code, the execution is transferred to some other part of the program and without any condition. So how do we translate the unconditional jumps of high level language into three address code? Very simple, use the go to and give some label name. L stands for label. Okay, let me write it as label itself here. How do we write the conditional jumps? Conditional jumps is also simple. If X is a condition, go to L. Or else we can write in another way also. If false x, if x is false, go to L, where L is the label. Right. Now let us see some more uh, statements in the programming languages. Suppose there are conditional jumps, which has a condition with a relational operator. So how do we write that? If x relational operator y, this is a condition, then go to label L stands for the label so if you have conditional jumps where the conditions are written with the relational operators the relational operator can be anything less than greater than equal to less than or equal to etc we can write the equivalent three address code in this format now let us see how the procedure calls or the user defined functions or the built-in functions of high level language can be written in three address code so the function would have been written like this p is the name of the procedure it might be having a list of parameters like this all right so and those x1 and x2 are being declared as parameter param x1 param x2 etc 
param x n this param is nothing but a keyword indicating that this x1 x2 are nothing but the parameters then you can write the keyword call the first argument is a procedure name which is p and this n is nothing but the number of parameters n is number of parameters and this p is nothing but the name of the procedure procedure name okay now let us see if indexed copy instructions are available in high level language how do we write it in three address code it is very simple x is equal to y i what does it mean y you can assume it as an array at the location or at the index i some value is available that is being copied to x or uh, we can have statements like this also x of i is equal to y the value at the location y is being sent to the x which is away from the locations i it is nothing but the index now the last one how do we represent address and the pointer assignments in three address code it is also very simple similar to c code x is equal to star y value at y or star x is equal to y this kind of statements are also available or else x is equal to address of y these kind of statements are also allowable while converting the high level language into three address code okay let us just have a look once again so in a programming language we may have assignment instruction copy instruction jumps and conditional jumps procedure calls indexed copy instructions and address and pointer assignments for all these programming language statements we have seen equivalent three address code format i hope you have understood this please subscribe to my channel those who are watching without subscribing and kindly share the videos with your friends also let them also get benefited thank you students